So the next regularization technique that we are going to look at is adding noise to the outputs. So we saw adding noise to the inputs, but you could also add noise to the outputs. So let's see how, what that means. So this is what your uh, output is, right? So you are given a certain image. So let's look at the classification problem. And this is what your true Y is going to look like. All the probability mass is on the correct label, which is two in this case. So zero, one, two, all the way up to nine and everything else is zero, right? And now this is what your true Y is and you are trying to predict a uh, uh, y hat or f, x, uh, f hat of x which is very close to uh, this true y right and that could lead to overfitting because if you have uh, you if you have a lot of parameters you know that this error you can drive down to zero but now what if i do the following right so i instead of using this output the true output that was given to me uh, and this is what my loss, this is what I'm going to minimize, right? This is my cross entropy loss that I'm going to minimize. So P here is the true label and Q is the predicted label. So instead of uh, using the true distribution, what if I say that I don't trust the uh, true labels, they may be noisy or I don't want to trust the true labels because then I am trying to map my input exactly to the output and that is what overfitting is, right? So instead I'm going to add some noise to the outputs what I'm going to do is that in my original distribution, all my uh, probability mass was on the correct label, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away a small probability mass from there and distribute it to the other labels, right? So now instead of all the mass being on one and everything else being zero, I'm instead of using those hard targets, now I'm using the soft targets where there's a small non-zero probability for all the other uh, outputs also, right? So this I've corrupted the output in some sense, but not corrupted it by a lot, right? Because still, if epsilon is small and epsilon will be small, uh, my majority of the probability mass is still on the correct label. But now when I apply my formula, the cross entropy formula, earlier in my PI log QI, if you remember only one term remained, right? The one which correspond to PI equal to one. So only this, the label, the second term would remain. But now, because all the other values were zero, but now all the other values are not zero, right? So my computation is changing. So the loss that I am actually trying to minimize is uh, changing and that will act as a regularizer, right? Because now you're not trying to minimize the true loss, but a slightly corrupted version of the uh, loss because you have made some change to the outputs, right? So that's what, uh, that's what you do in uh, adding noise to the outputs. And now since you're not what, what you have done is again you have added some kind of a corruption to the loss function, right? So earlier you were looking at L theta plus omega theta, right? And now again if you open this up, right? And now again what has happened is earlier you had only, uh, uh, so what you have now is epsilon i, epsilon into log of P1 plus epsilon into log of uh, sorry, P0, P1 plus epsilon into log of P3 log of P9 and then you also have this 1 minus epsilon into log of uh, uh, P2 which was the correct label, right? For the correct label, this is the weight. Now you can again think of this, this was actually your true loss earlier without regularization, right? So you can think of this as L theta. So now you have some weighted L theta. So let me just call it as alpha one L theta where alpha one is one minus epsilon. And then you have plus, uh, or let me just call it one minus epsilon only, right? So you have one minus epsilon times your earlier loss plus epsilon times some other loss which I can call as omega theta now. So again you can see that you're doing some kind of a regularization here and that will help avoid overfitting, right? So that's the idea behind adding noise to the output labels. So we'll end this here.